So, so I wanted to give you a um a quick overview of the uh, mixer chat. So it can actually do more by default than you realize, and you don't necessarily need bots to do a lot of it. Um, so the sort of things that I'm going to give you a little run over of is um, hiding deleted messages, for example, or if you want to see whispers, changing the colors of names in chat, um, just basic things like that. Also, say Catbot, which is Mixer's built-in moderation bot, adjusting the level of that on your chat. Um, honestly, it's really easy to do. You it literally takes minutes, which is why this video is quite short. Um, and yeah, I'll give you a little overview now of how to uh, how to do it. So on your Mixer channel, uh, you'll see your chat obviously on the right hand side, so you can see this is my chat right here. Um, down the bottom right, you have these three little white dots. Um, and basically what you do on there, click on there, you'll see options chatter list, basically shows you a list of everybody that's in the chat right now. So on mine, you can see there's a bot and there's a, there's a few people that are lurking in there. Uh, you can also go on the chat settings, which is what we're going to look at. You can create a poll if you want to do different options for a vote in the chat, uh, which is quite cool. Um, and you can pop out the chat. So this is useful if you don't want the whole stream open. If you just want the chat open somewhere, you can pop out the chat and have it in own window, essentially. But what we're going to look at is the chat sentence here. So we're going to there. Uh, chroma key chat. So chroma key is obviously you can change the background color of the chat. Um, benefit of this is if you want to show like all of this on screen uh, or you want to take like all of this out and just have the chat there. So it's basically a different way of doing it without using a chat widget on say Streamlabs or something like that. Um, there's also uh, Stripe message backgrounds. Uh, smooth scroll. If you're scrolling the chat, it, it does it smoothly, not just like jumping all over the, all over the place, you know. And that's quite a self-explanatory one. Uh, allow chat whispers. So this is not one that I use, um, as in turning it off, but it's quite a useful one if, say, I know, I know some streamers that get quite a lot of um, inappropriate or m rude messages and whispers or stuff like that. Um, this is where you can basically turn off that functionality in your stream so people can't, like, if you if they send a whisper to you, you don't see or get the whispers. Um, so it's a good way of managing that sort of stuff as well. So it basically means if anyone wants to send anything, they've, they've got to put it in the main chat to you, otherwise you just won't see it. Um, as far as I understand with this, the the viewer, when they try and whisper, they're not aware that you can't see it, so it's better to communicate that stuff out. But that's quite a useful one to avoid. Um, I, I don't have this problem, but like inappropriate messages and stuff that are sent via whisper or anything that could be dodgy or you just don't want people to be able to whisper you stuff and hide it from your moderators. Um, I personally think this is quite a good idea because it, it gives power back to your moderators, so if people do want to send you bad stuff then they have to do it in the main chat and then your moderators can deal with it uh, lurk mode that basically means that you can go into other streams uh, and you don't show up in the viewer list um, which I can understand why some people don't want to do that because they don't want to get disturbed they don't want when they join a stream a bot to like say to the streamer this person's in the stream that sort of stuff so lurk mode is quite a nice one um, this is a really good one actually deleted messages visibility so obviously if a message is deleted either by a bot or by Mixer's own cat, but or by one of your moderators, you can choose if you want to see the deleted message. So by default, the streamer and moderators can see messages with a line through them. So when they're deleted, they're still there, but they're like crossed out. Viewers can't see them, they disappear. So this basically changes it so you're like a viewer. So you could be focusing on your game and playing stuff like this, your chat could be over there. Your moderators and bots could deal with messages like rude, inappropriate messages before you see them. When you look back at the chat, they're not there. So you completely miss that. So it's basically a way of avoiding having to deal with that sort of stuff and for like a streamer's perspective it means that you don't need to even see those because you see one of those messages if it's really bad it can just completely throw you off and you lose track of what you're doing um so yeah th there's basically that that's one way you can do it for example um notification volume and notification sound this is when someone asks you in the chat the noise it makes the doo-doo whatever it is so mine's doo-doo but you can literally choose whoosh, all sorts of different sounds. You can choose how loud it is. Uh, slow chat, obviously, if you've got a very, very busy chat. I mean, not. I don't see a purpose for many people using this. Uh, well, I mean, unless, say, people like Ninja, I know use it, or bigger streamers that have got hundreds of people watching at once and actually active in the chat as well. This basically means that they can't send messages as frequently. It puts a delay in the messages. So if you're in a, if you're in a chat with slow chat enabled, you can't instantly like spam messages it would say like please wait before sending another message and you can determine how long they have to wait with this setting which is quite cool uh catbot 
is mixed as very own moderation bot. You can choose uh, the uh, levels of it. By default, it's very low for everyone. You can't turn it off at the moment as far as I'm aware, which is quite a cool thing because it means that if you forget to change the settings on it, you always have some level of protection in your chat from the very worst things. So very low blocks out the very worst stuff. The reason I have it on very low is because I use ScottyBot and I have really like a lot of word filters up on that that deals with a lot of the stuff. Um, but obviously, yeah, with this set you can up it to low, medium, high, and you've got other customization options as well there, so we've got option one, option two. Uh, you can choose if you want links allowed in the chat, so if you want anyone to be able to post any links in the chat. Uh, this doesn't apply for... Uh, I don't believe it applies for moderators, um, but basically you can choose if you want viewers to post links. Again, I have this enabled because I manage that with my bot. I don't use the setting on Mixer, but again, the setting is there if you want it. Uh, you can also make it so if someone does post a link in the chat, they can't actually click it and take you elsewhere, so... That's another cool option as well. Uh, if you host someone, this is really important for if you want to raid someone as well. Move chat on host. So the idea of this is when you host someone, it moves them over to the new streamer's chat. Uh, what happens is when you're hosting, you see the two chat names at the top, your chat and the person you're hosting. By default, it switches you from yours to theirs. They can switch back if they want, but it basically just means if you're raiding and spamming in the chat, you can basically enable that as well. So it forces them over to the new streamer's chat. Um, and then obviously you've got a few accessibility options which mix with enable now so say if you've got like if you're like colorblind or uh, you just want to change the colors of different roles in the chat you can change it here so you've got founder star global mod which you only really see those in like uh, hype zone stuff like that channel editor moderator subscriber pro viewer guardian you basically got those there as well you can reset with the default as well um, so yeah that's basically an overview of all the settings you can do in Mixer's chat. Um, honestly, if you want to stop a lot of spam and a lot of inappropriate stuff being sent to you, if, if that stuff does get to you and you get quite a lot of it, I highly recommend turning off whispers and also um, making sure that deleted messages aren't visible and the amount of stuff that you will see in your chat, as long as you've got bots and moderators set up to manage that, it will reduce dramatically and you'll probably actually find it a lot better not having stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. If you want to check out the stream, mixer.com forward slash smiler. You can also catch more videos on this channel, catch me on socials, all the links down there below. But yeah, thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.